Hello, uh, once again, uh, it's great to see you uh, all through this medium. Uh, first of all, a huge thanks, I should say, massive thanks from my side uh, wholeheartedly because uh, over the last uh, week or so, I've been getting a lot of messages, I should say congratulatory messages, a lot of good wishes, good messages from everyone uh, who have been really positive about the entire uh, episode on national, all five episodes on national education policy. Uh, I've got some some of some great compliments, I should say, some some very good uh, constructive criticism as well, which is very essential, you know, uh, in terms of moving on. And uh, I'm sure that you know <clears throat> we have done some kind of justification so far in the, la in the five videos, and and we will take some of the feedbacks that uh, I find I found really really uh, valuable and implement it in subsequent videos that follows. Uh, so as per the uh, YouTube policy, I should say. Uh, it requires 100 subscribers to name a channel and uh, once again thanks uh, ev each and every one of you who have subscribed to my channel uh, it's i think 127 as on today uh, in a week's time and therefore we have named the channel which is called uh, right careers which is way behind me it's called uh, the youtube channel from now on it's going to be called as www.youtube.com slash right careers and in case you have subscribed uh, to this channel thank you so much and in case you haven't uh, subscribed i would request you to subscribe to this channel and also for everybody from now on the bell button will work uh, therefore you can click on the bell button so that uh, you will instantly get to see as and when i post the videos from now on right moving on quickly this is one interesting topic that i thought uh, we should uh, do this week and it's highly relevant as well in fact i didn't want to do this topic this this week uh, i want to do something else on covid and education something on those lines but again uh, uh been getting some calls for anxious calls i should say from some students asking for uh, uh, asking about a lot of doubts about this particular subject or topic i should say since this is the admission season i thought i should definitely do this video now so that a lot of confusion or or, or clarity will will arise and a lot of confusions will go now it's very simple uh, that the, the topic is as a 12 standard student i'm a 12 standard student i'm on the verge of choosing engineering and under engineering uh, you have a lot of options but there is one option that's that's hitting everybody these days one buzzword i should say it's called artificial intelligence should i study b tech in, or b in computer science or should i study b or b tech in computer science with artificial intelligence and machine learning or even robotics for that matter so should i be a generalist computer engineer or should i also specialize in ai ml at undergraduate level so that's something which everybody has uh, uh, has some kind of doubt because these days both public and private colleges universities offer this program called artificial intelligence now some have doubts whether if i don't study artificial intelligence am i going to miss something uh, if i study artificial intelligence what's going to happen what's going to happen to the core computer engineering that's that's prevailing today so, so i thought we'll we'll decode this and then uh, you know come to a conclusion on this subject so that the subject is btec or be computer science engineering versus btec or be computer science engineering with AI and ML specialization, artificial intelligence and machine learning specialization. Now, before even we get into the comparison, we need to know what computer science engineering is all about. We also need to know what artificial intelligence is all about. So, in in, in the, at a very at a nutshell, I should say. Uh, now, we will do series of different careers options in subsequent videos that will have that will talk about commerce, that will talk about arts, that will talk about uh, various careers, medicine, engineering, under engineering, we will see different different streams of engineering in the, in the weeks to come, say mechanical, automobile, we will do a comprehensive analysis of what mechanical engineering is all about, what is the study of uh, every discipline of engineering, uh, what are the career prospects of every engineering, so something like that. On during that series, we will also see computer science engineering uh, at a much, much detailed manner. But for now, the topic is whether to choose BE computer science general or to choose BE computer science with AI specialization. Now, what is computer science engineering? I'm sure you all know, uh, but it's, it's, it's a formality that I also talk about computer science engineering to begin with and also a little bit about AI. So what is computer science engineering? Now, computer science engineering focuses on the basics of uh, computer programming it's very simple the basics of computer programming uh, with topics like uh, coding algorithm uh, program design uh, uh, hardware software etc so it, it, it's going to talk on the basics of computer programming that's computer science engineering now the career prospects once you finish once you become a computer science engineer csc we call uh, in, in 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 here out here 
once you finish csc uh, you become a programmer you become a software developer you become a database administrator you become a data analyst also some of the job profiles and say career profiles or job profiles once you finish computer science, science engineering you are supposed to become this you are supposed to do programming you are supposed to write coding right now trust me in all the engineering fields computer science is one of the glamorous engineering disciplines uh, that that's every student chooses why because it definitely gives you some kind of high paid jobs after you finish your four year program so it is one of the most sought after programs under engineering streams even today there is no doubt about that very small introduction about computer science engineering moving on what is artificial intelligence now everyone if thinks that artificial intelligence is a discipline by itself it's an engineering stream by itself uh, actually not it is actually uh, you know if you look at artificial intelligence it's a branch of computer science engineering it's a branch right uh, what does it talks about artificial intelligence emphasizes on development of you know intelligent machines so good old days computer science engineers used to write coding used to write programming feed the computers wait for computer to uh, the computers to react that's that's typical computer science engineering now good old days computers never used to think now today with the advent of artificial intelligence people write programming in such a way that computer think that's artificial intelligence the name itself has two parts intelligence with some kind of artificial so artificial intelligence now artificial intelligence has already impacted everybody everybody trust me everybody across all walks of life it has it has impacted you take uh, you know speech recognition is a classical example if i'm sure you would have come across speech recognition in your phones or some some of the uh, other uh, digital mediums it's a classical example of uh, you know artificial intelligence social media feeds is a cl another classical example of artificial intelligence because see without understanding what artificial intelligence is i don't think you should you should study that you need to know what ai is all about social media feeds by social media feeds what we mean is let's take facebook as an example or instagram as an example now if you go to facebook you browse some of the uh, videos uh, and then what happens you once again get to see similar kind of suggested videos right how does it come for example let me say today's current uh, relevant topic is about the uh, health issue of sp balasubramaniam one of the legendary singers in south indian or rather indian uh, film industry now sp balasubramaniam's uh, health is a cause of concern and everybody uh, searches for sp balasubramaniam's health condition now what happens in facebook is haven't you noticed that spb's uh, concert comes to you again and again spb's participation in some programs like super singer or some of the other uh, you know light music concerts that he has uh, sung that comes in your facebook right now how does it come have you ever thought about how does this come so it's very simple it comes because of your browsing history it comes because of your behavior in the in, in the internet so this is nothing but a form of artificial intelligence so this is precisely uh, what they what happens in social media feeds youtube again same example in youtube as well you go and search about cooking you get i mean even when you don't search the next time you come to cooking about cooking some videos pop up you search something on yoga you know again you don't uh, really search on yoga and then there are some videos that pop up about yoga form of artificial intelligence that's how it works so it thinks i mean the the computer thinks the the, the website the youtube or facebook thinks i mean think in the sense it's written in such a way that it thinks and then gives you a feed if you think artificial intelligence works only in computer science industry no you're wrong it has its own impact across all industry in fact i know some of uh, the banking financial services industry bfsa as we call uses extensively uh, i mean they use ai extensively across all their operations globally and also in india so you know bfsa uses artificial intelligence uh, especially in portfolio management fund assets credit ratings etc they use it is going to revolutionize healthcare is what we get to know ai has already made significant inroads in healthcare be it diagnosing be it analyzing so it has made significant inroads in healthcare metallurgy as well uh, in fact uh, 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 we know some of the people uh, who are into metallurgy research on ai so that's that's so i mean if you think that it's restricted only to one domain no ai is now there everywhere it's there in our lives 
and we are experiencing uber is an example uber works on root monetization i mean the routing driver allocation how does that happen it's a form of ai so this is ai uh, a short description on ai now today's mindset of students whom i came across few weeks uh, for the last few weeks is they think that without artificial intelligence the computer science engineering looks slightly irrelevant slightly could be i don't know but i'm i'm saying that's the mindset of today's 12th standard students or today's undergraduate students uh, and they also feel that uh, uh, csa will be better off i mean the computer science engineering will be better off when they study artificial intelligence as a program now is that true uh, we will see now how ai works at ug level how ai has to work at ug level now if you look at artificial intelligence uh, 19 uh, sorry 2019 or 2018 regulation yeah 2018 regulation of all the universities particularly this part of the country the anna university or iit they teach you artificial intelligence as an elective in the basic computer science engineering program for be or btech computer science engineering artificial intelligence is taught as a elective which means in 7th semester or 6th semester you get one paper on artificial intelligence for even if you don't choose btech in artificial intelligence you still get to study one paper now out and out ai uh, i mean out and out btech in artificial intelligence and machine learning slightly early days nothing wrong in studying we are slightly in early days because we really don't know how much artificial intelligence as an academic that has evolved at ug level uh, see uh, if you i mean some of the uh, advice that i give to, to ug students is to not restrict themselves you know at ug level itself because if you look at computer science engineering uh, it is one of the core engineering subjects uh, if you come across some of the core engineering includes mechanical civil circuit branches like electrical electronics computer science now these are some of the core you know undergraduate programs if you personally ask me you should never restrict yourself at ug level undergraduate level you need to be a generalist you need to study everything the gamut of everything in engineering branch you need to study coding a lot you need to study circuit branch you need to study mechanical you need to study you need to be a jack of everything at ug level because that's how the syllabus is framed in engineering the first year or so you study everything and then you slowly get into your specialization and that's how ai should also be treated for now for now if you ask me there is no you know harm even if you don't get into ai space at ug level now because we really don't know how you know ai has uh, impact in its uh, at, at ug level now software engineers you know if you ask me software engineers are definitely needed till the end of the dawn this is a comment that i got from one of the leading software practitioners i should say how much ever ai comes coding is here to stay it's, it's not going to end so definitely if you think software engineering is going to lose its sheen or something like that no right it's definitely going to be there one of the most important thing that you need to look at you know before you choose any program for that matter especially with artificial intelligence or machine learning is the college that you study if the college or university that offers this program to a very small research just find out are there any i mean at least one professor or a group of 3 4 professors who are there who have done significant amount of research in artificial intelligence for the last 3 4 years if you have such professors please and if you are interested please go ahead and study artificial intelligence at ug level there's nothing wrong whereas if you don't have professors who have done enough work enough research on ai how do you expect them to do justification to the program and teach you that's something which you have to ponder you can also see some of the you know colleges that i know both public and private some of the colleges uh, which i can't mention or name their alumni are working in some startups of ai it's very good if some of the alumni are working in some of the artificial intelligence uh, roles or or company startup companies it's it's really good it's a point that you can definitely do some kind of research before you enroll this program now while see artificial intelligence is going to be the order of the day uh, i'm not denying or i'm not questioning this while it is definitely inevitable uh, my only advice is do not fall to the false claims that any college does i'm not saying this college does false claim this college is good no, i'm not here to do that i'm saying colleges will claim but it's up to us to do the research 
and then find out whether the artificial intelligence program or machine learning that they do really you know uh, 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 they do justice to this to those programs in the form of academics in the form of research that they have already done so something like that right my conclusion to whether to choose ai or uh, or or to generally get into be computer science engineering is there is that i mean there is nothing wrong or right in any of the strategies right similarly there is nothing right or wrong in choosing the subject so if you think you are going to miss the bus if you don't study artificial intelligence don't worry that's not the case even if you are not going to study computer science engineering you can always catch up with artificial intelligence at the pg level be it any discipline you are, for example you have chosen a uh, chosen production engineering you can still catch up with ai at pg level if you have chosen automobile you can still catch up with ai at pg level so you you have not missed the bus if you have not chosen this program that's something which i have to reassure at this point in time at the same time if you really like coding now this is the key takeaway in this video according to me if you are into coding if you really like coding and if you are very strong in mathematics trust me artificial intelligence requires a lot of uh, strong any engineering requires funda but ai and ml especially machine learning it requires lot of strong mathematics probability statistics skills so if you have the passion for coding and if you are very very strong in mathematics numbers particularly in probability statistics and you have the passion for developing new algorithms blindly go and study in a very good college that offers you artificial intelligence if you think it's too early or too heavy at this point in time don't bother please do study the normal engineering b or b tech computer science engineering at ug level you will still get to study one paper at or couple of papers in ug level if you enroll this year for sure you will get and you can always specialize four years from now now education doesn't stop with, with the four years i mean today very few finish their program finish their engineering and settle down in jobs no they don't they go on to study masters there you can always specialize in masters so i would like to conclude that you know both are good i mean uh, both have its own charm own values and own future uh, therefore uh, never think that you have missed something or or something like that that's not going to you know uh, that, that's not correct actually so uh, hope you enjoyed the videos and uh, and and, and you have been uh, uh, following my uh, last five videos and this one this is the sixth video and hope you all had a great uh, informative or productive time i should say and final request is to subscribe and click the bell button of this youtube channel so that you know you instantly get uh, some of the videos that we are going to post in the near future once again thank you so much uh, for all the support and thank you so much for watching this video thank you